We are discussing international human resource management issues of SMEs, and in this topic, we are going to particularly talk about expatriate management. You know that expatriates are people who you send from your own uh, country to a foreign country, and they work in the foreign country in your organization, uh, which you are trying to extend in the internationalization process. Now, issues in SMEs regarding expatriate management is that it is taken comparatively informally as compared to the multinationals. Uh, as we have already discussed that SMEs, they have lesser resources, their structures are less formal, their trading programs are less formal, and all the functions uh, of uh, human resources are taken less formally. And similarly, expatriate management is also taken less formally in the SMEs. Uh, a research on 449 SMEs in Germany, it showed that expatriate management, it usually occurred in uh, joint ventures or wholly owned foreign subsidiaries, or sometimes it also occurred in lic uh, licensing agreements. So where there was a joint venture in which uh, two firms from different countries came together uh, and they were small, uh, they, they were SMEs, they went for expatriate management, or if uh, they were wholly owned uh, foreign subsidiaries, that a, an SME, it, ho uh, it, it owns a foreign subsidiary completely over their expatriate management was done more formally or sometimes in licensing agreements in which uh, you provide license to um, uh, use your, um, your patent or your copyright or your logo or your firm's name. In that particular instance, uh, the organizations, they go for expatriate management because they want to uh, keep the name of their organization uh, uh, intact and protected, so they go for expatriate management. Uh, these firms, they indicated that uh, international recruitment of interna internal employees, which is expatriate management, was the second most important uh, decision issue considered to be taken in, in the recruitment. Uh, the first uh, most important recruitment issue was recruitment of people within that local market in which that SME was trying to enter in the international market. This is the second most uh, important decision issue. Uh, um, firms indicated that 16% 16 firm, uh, 16 firms, they send employees for international assignments for career development purposes. So even in the SMEs, 16% firms, they believed that career development of the international uh, exposure is important and therefore they sent their own people for uh, learning in the international in the, in the international market, and that is something which is an aspect of expatriate management. Uh, then in SMEs, uh, the expatriate management training uh, was mostly predominated with uh, giving the language skills. Um, Cross-cultural training, which is a very important aspect of expatriate management in multinationals, it took a back seat in SMEs because it is something which is more time consuming, more costly, and then you can leave it to your own uh, uh, learning as well. Whereas language is something which people who are entering uh, an international market and entering a foreign country, they really need to learn. You cannot uh, survive without learning that, uh, that language skill. So more focus was given on learning language skills than giving uh, cross-cultural training. And where cross-cultural training was actually given to these people uh, in SMEs, it was outsourced rather than given in-house because in-house training is really expensive and SMEs, they cannot afford it. So that is why it was outsourced whenever it was given to people in SMEs. Uh, and therefore, because of these training and learning issues, uh, because of uh, uh, an informal structure and culture of expatriate management in SMEs, uh, cross-cultural integration, it remains a major issue for SMEs. So this is an important aspect of uh, human resource management in SMEs.